So Liz, how fitting the win-win reciprocal arrangement for both clients and sitters who are helping each other, who benefits most, owners or sitters, or is it equal? Oh, it's definitely an equal thing, but um, owners get the ability to ensure that their pets are cared for in their own home, not, um, not put into kennels, they um, react much better to staying in their own home, even with somebody different looking after them. And the sitters get the benefit of accommodation, so I think it's definitely a win-win thing. After being around for many years, house sitting is getting increasingly mainstream and media attention and interest. Why do you think it's currently hot? Um, I, th I think it's the whole internet uh, situation in that, you know, we're all better connected now, we all have a lot more information and um, it's hard to get known, or it used to be hard to get known, just by using um, standard media, but now with the internet and Twitter and Facebook, um, everybody knows what's available, so people can make better choices. In New Zealand, do you think that factors like overseas Kiwis returning home in record numbers in the past few years, combined with the high rents and rental shortages in our big cities, are partly contributing to the popularity of half sitting? Um, yes, I do in a way, but I also feel that the whole um, area of house sitting has become more widely known, more accepted, and also things like doggy daycare have suddenly evolved, which um, are a spin-off in a way, and so people now have the choice that they can have either somebody living in their home and looking after their pets full-time, or if it's just um, a situation where they only want part-time care, well, they can either put their pets into doggy daycare or they can um, get the sitter to take the dogs to doggy daycare. So it's really, um, it's an evolving situation, I think. And, and why do you ask for so many references and police checks from sitters? You can't be, you can't be too careful. You know, the, these pets are like people's children and they really care about them and we really care about them. We only put in sitters who love pets in a situation where pets are involved. Um, there are situations where it's not necessary to look after pets. We also look after people's property from a security point of view and we do garden care as well. That, that's another thing that people have not re realised that we can do but um, we do, we go around and we water people's gardens and when you think of the amount of investment in gardens, um, it's really a viable thing. It's, it's you know, something that people really want. Thank you very much.